the book of Jasher or Sefer Ha Yasir chapter 2 the prophet Seth is born people begin to multiply and become idolatrous third part of the earth destroyed earth cursed and becomes corrupt through the wickedness of men Canaan Ko in on a wise and righteous king foretells the flood Enoch Hanuk Hermes Idris is born verse 1 And it was in the hundred and thirtieth year of the life of Adam upon the earth that he again knew Eve, his wife, and she conceived and bare a son in his likeness and in his image, and she called his name Seth, saying, because God has appointed me another seed in the place of Abel, Abel, for Cain Ta'ain has slain him. And Seth lived 105 years, and he begat a son. And Seth called the name of his son Enush. Saying, Because in that time the sons of men began to multiply and to afflict their souls and hearts by transgressing and rebelling against God. And it was in the days of Enush that the sons of men continued to rebel and transgress against God, to increase the anger of the Lord against the sons of men. And the sons of men went and they served other gods. And they forgot the Lord who had created them in the earth. And in those days the sons of men made images of brass and iron, wood and stone, and they bowed or bowed down and served them. And every man made his God, and they bowed down to them. And the sons of men forsook the Lord all the days of Enush and his children, and the anger of the Lord was kindled on account of their work and abominations, which they did in the earth. And the Lord caused the waters of the river Gihon, Gihon to overwhelm them, and he destroyed and consumed them, and he destroyed the third part of the earth. Niflheim. And notwithstanding this, the sons of men did not turn from their evil ways, and their hands were yet extended to do evil in the sight of the Lord. And in those days there was neither sowing nor reaping in the earth, and there was no food for the sons of men, and the famine was very great in those days. And the seed which they sowed in those days in the ground became thorns, thistles, and briars. 
for from the days of Adam was this declaration concerning the earth of the curse of God, which he cursed the earth on account of the sin which Adam sinned before the Lord. And it was when men continued to rebel and transgress against God and to corrupt their ways that the earth also became corrupt. And Enosh lived ninety years, and he begat Canaan. And Canaan, Ka'an, grew up, and he was forty years old. And he became wise, and had knowledge, and skill, and all wisdom. And he reigned over all the sons of men. And he led the sons of men to wisdom and knowledge. For Jane, An, Arjuna, Canaan, was a very wise man and had understanding and all knowledge. And with his wisdom, he ruled over spirits and demons. And Janna, Canaan, knew by his wisdom that God would destroy the sons of men for having sinned upon earth, and that the Lord would in the latter days bring upon them the waters of the flood. And in those days Canaan wrote upon tablets of stone what was to take place in time to come. And he put them in his treasures, and Canaan reigned over the whole earth. And he turned some of the sons of men to the service of God. And when Anu was seventy years old, he begot three sons and two daughters. And these are the names of the children of Anu. The name of the firstborn, Mah Mahal Alil. The second, Anan, the third, Merid, Amorot, and their sisters were Edda and Zilla. These are the five children of Canaan that were born to him. And Lamech, the son of Mithu Sael, Came, became related to Canaan by marriage, and he took his two daughters for his wives. And Ida conceived and bare a son to Lamech, and she called his name Jebel, or mountain. And she again conceived and bare a son, and called his name Jubal. Or a range. And Zilla, her sister, was barren in those days and had no offspring. For in those days the sons of men began to trespass against God and to transgress the commandments which he had commanded to Adam to be fruitful and multiply in the earth. And some of the sons of men caused their wives to drink a draught that would render them barren, in order that they might retain their figures and whereby their beautiful appearance might not fade. And when the sons of men caused some of their wives to drink, Zilla drank with them. And the child-bearing women appeared abominable in the sight of their husbands as widows, whilst their husbands lived, for to the barren ones only they were attached. And in the end of days and years, when Zillah became old, the Lord opened her womb, and she conceived and bare a son, and she called his name Tubal-Cain. Tu Baal Ka'ain, you are the idol. 
you are the ideal son in my eyes. Saying, after I had withered away, have I obtained him from the almighty God. And she conceived again and bare a daughter, and she called her name Naama. Blessing. For she said, After I had withered away, have I obtained pleasure and delight. And Lemech was old and advanced in years, and his eyes were dim that he could not see. And Dubaal Cain, his son, was leading him. And it was one day that Lamech went into the field, and Tubal Cain, his son, was with him. And whilst they were walking in the field, Cain, Cain, the son of Adam, advanced towards them. For Lamech was very old and could not see much, and Tubal Cain, his son, was very young. And Tubal Cain, Tubal Cain, told his father to draw his bow. And with the arrows he smote Cain, son of Adam, who was yet far off, and he slew him, for he appeared to them to be an animal. And the arrows entered Cain's body, although he was distant from them, and he fell to the ground and died. And the Lord requited Cain's evil according to his wickedness which he had done to his brother Abel, according to the word of the Lord, which he had spoken. And it came to pass, when Cain had died, that Lamech and Tubal went to see the animal which they had slain. And they saw, and behold, Cain, their grandfather, was fallen dead upon the earth. And Lamech was very much grieved at having done this. And in clapping his hands together, he struck his son and caused his death. And the wives of Lamech heard what Lamech had done, and they sought to kill him. And the wives of Lamech hated him from that day, because he slew Cain and to Baal Cain, and the wives of Lamech separated from him, and would not hearken to him in those days. And Lamech came to his wives, and he pressed them to listen to him about this matter. And he said to his wives, Ida and Zillah, Hear my voice, O wives of Lamech, attend to my words. For now you have imagined and said that I slew a man with my wounds and a child with my stripes, for there having done no violence. But surely know that I am old and gray-headed, and that my eyes are heavy through age. And I did this thing unknowingly. And the wives of Lamech listened to him in this matter, and they returned to him with the advice of their father, Adam. But they bore no children to him from that time, knowing that God's anger was increasing in those days against the sons of men, to destroy them with the waters of the flood for their evil doings. And Mahal Alil, the son of Ta'an, uh, the son of Canaan, Jannah, lived sixty-five years, and he begot Jared, and Jared lived sixty-two years, and he begot Enoch. Apos moi le déluge, le prison wood. Faithfully translated, 1840, from the original Hebrew into English, a reprint, a photo lithographic reprint of exact edition published by J. H. Perry & Co., 
Salt Lake City, 1887, with additions by the reader, Christopher Robert Neal, Esquire. End of chapter two of the book of Jasher.